Hello everyone, today I have some more Lego Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast minifigure series. Uh, I got a lot more, I forgot how many I need, but uh, if you want to check out the other ones from last videos, you can click right up here, or links will be down below. But since I have so many minifigs, let's just kind of jump right into it. I'm hoping to complete it, this video, because I kind of use the bump codes, so we'll see. If you don't know what the bump codes are really quick, there's bumps at the bottoms of the packs. This one doesn't show it too well. But uh, there's bumps that you can use, people use codes online. Um, if I already have the minifig, um, I'm not going to build them because I've already shown them. Uh, so this one I already have. Uh, he was right. He's right there from last video. So we'll slide that over. Get on to the next one. There we go. Oh, this one's new. This one is new. This one is Dumbledore. Let's get him built really quick. That's awesome. This one uh, is much different from the original Harry Potter sets. Uh, he does have a face design, so I'll put his beard on in a second. But this is Dumbledore. In uh, I don't know which the one this is, because I think there's two, or there might be one of them. Hold on. Uh, this one... Where is it? So this is, yep, this is just Dumbledore. And, uh, yep, Al uh, what is, uh, it's Albus Dumbledore. I probably said that first name wrong, but I know his name's Dumbledore. Uh, completely different design from the older ones, from the old sets a long time ago. But you can see his face design is much different. He's got the beard. He does come with the beard, so I'll put that on. You can see he's got his uh, glasses on. He's got the bushy eyebrows. He's got the wrinkles on his forehead. He's kind of got a happy look, even though you won't see it when the beard's on. But a great face design, and I like it that it's the flesh tone color. Coming down to his chest and torso, you can see he's got like his gown on, or his like his normal like head honcho attire on. You can see there's a lot of detailing in there in the clasps uh, down the center. Also a little bit of uh, yellow or gold accenting color. Uh, the robes on the side you can see have wrinkles on it. It looks really nice. Uh, this is one of the newer uh, sloped Lego pieces. It has the uh, new uh, Lego connector leg pieces instead of the old studs. Then you can see his outfit goes all the way down to the leg pieces. So it just it's a flow. It, it looks really nice. You can see some of the... Uh, Little tails at the end right here look nice, wrinkles in it. No side printing, nothing on the back because it's all on the front, but the slope curve is really nice. Now we'll put on his beard. And again, uh, it covers all the um, the face design pretty much besides the eyes and some of the side. But new beard design for him. If I can get it straight, there we go. It's tied off at the end. You can see where the mouth would be, it moves a little bit. Probably just because I didn't put it down all the way. There we go. Uh, it still moves a bit. And he comes with the new hairpiece. He <clears throat> looks super nice. Great minifig. He also comes with the water as an accessory. If I can put it in his hand. There we go. He's got the water that he takes his memories and puts in. And he also comes with his uh, wands, which you have to take off the piece. So new minifig. Wanted to show him a little more. But we got Dumbledore. Put him right there. Go on to the next one. And just keep on moving. Uh, this one looks like I already have. This one might be Newt, and this one is Newt. So it's Newt. I already have him. He's uh he's somewhere right there. Set him to the side. This one seems a little small, so we'll see. Hopefully, it's a new minifig. Trying to get Dobby this one time. And I really want Dobby. <laughs> uh, who is this? Oh, this is a new one. This is a new one. Don't have him. Finally got the gang all together. This one's Ron Weasley as a kid. Get him all set up. No printing on the back of his head, so he's single-sided. There we go. You can see he's got the uh, red luscious hair going. You can see he's happy. He's got that Ron look going. And then uh, ch chest and torso design is the same as, I think, Harry's uh, outfit and uh, possibly Hermione's outfit because they all wear the same attire. So the legs are the same, the only thing different is the headpiece. Actually, I don't know if it's different. Uh, where's Hermione? I don't know, Hermione's is different. No, Harry's is different too. So they actually are all different. He's got a white undershirt, uh, Harry had gray, and then Hermione's all covered up. And you can see his tie's kind of loosely on, so is his collar. I assume the back is the same though with the hood. But the cool thing about these ones is the leg moves, which is awesome. Then he also comes with Cheezer, his rat. So we got 
Ron Weasley finally, and then of course he comes with the wands, which you have to take off. So that's Dumbledore's, we'll put Ron there. That's two new ones, I still need a lot more because there's 22 in this series. And this one, oh, this one's looking like a new one. And this one, I believe is, yes, this is a new one. Uh, I don't know this guy's name, so let me look it up really quick. He's from um, Fantastic Beasts, I believe. Again, have not seen the movie, so I have no really context towards how he should look. But I'm assuming Lego did their job, and he looks correct. Let's get him all straightened out. So this character's name is Jacob, uh, is it, it's a Kowalski? I think it's a K, yep, K-O-W-A-L-Ski. Uh, yep, so Jacob Kowalski. I'm assuming that's how you say it. But here he is. Again, I have no context how he looks. I haven't looked up what his character will look like, but he's got uh, one of the newer uh, uh, brown slick back hair pieces. Face design looks good. He's got a mustache. You can see some chin design wrinkles under his eyes. Or uh, <clears throat> Looks like he's kind of tired or older. Coming to his chest and torso, you can see probably a little bit of a bigger dude. He's got the buttons. You can see the wrinkles in it, how they would make it for his stomach. Uh, with his vest underneath, he's got a tie, a uh, white dress shirt under there. He's got his jacket opened up. A lot of detailing looks nice. Nothing on legs, nothing on the sides, nothing on the back of him. So pretty simple minifig as the suit. And then he comes with uh, one of the newer briefcases or luggage cases. And then he comes with cookies in it. So I'm going to put those in there. There we go. He comes with two uh, designed cookies. One looks like a Cinnabon. One looks like a swirl cookie kind of thing. Those look like new designs, which is cool. I really do like these luggages as well. So, another new minifig. Get him standing on his plate. Get him lined up. He doesn't come with a wand, though. Don't feel the wand in the pack. So, keep on moving. We've got three new ones. Get this next one open. Uh, this one is not new. This one is Neville from uh, the Potter, or not the Potter, the Plant class. And he's right there. Got him last time. For the next one. Uh, this one is Hermione. Got her a while. I believe it's Hermione. Yep, because she comes with the cat. So I got Hermione again. She's right there. The next one opened. Uh, this one is uh, Harry in his invisible gown. Which is actually really cool to get because I like the cape. Uh, he's right there. Got him last video. Not doing too good. We got five dupes and only three new ones so far. Uh, another uh, one of the professors forgot his name, but he's uh, I've got a few of him now. Not not good. This is not a good one. I mean, the three new ones are nice. Uh, another Harry Potter. Got this one already. You can see it right there. It comes with the owl. Ugh, this is not looking good. It's hard to get when this series has been out for a while. It's hard to get them. Get the newer ones. Oh, is this this is a new one. This is another Fantastic Beasts character, I believe. And yes, it is. This character's name is uh, Queenie Goldstein. I believe that's how you say it, because it's spelled Queen and then I-E. So Queenie Goldstein. Again, this is a Fantastic Beasts minifig or character. Uh, let's get her all built. Again, I don't have context for her either, but it looks like a pretty well-made minifig. A lot of new designs towards it. Uh, the hairpiece... Looks like kind of a new one. It's it's not quite blonde, but it's not red either. It's a it's like a mix, kind of like a strawberry mix. Uh, I really like it though. Uh, coming to her face, you can see she's got some pink lipstick on, wrinkles around the sides, but a very happy, expressive look. No printing in the back of her head. Then coming down to her chest and torso, you can see she's kind of got like a blue dress on. I'd say I'm not sure, <laughs> or it could be even like a sweat, kind of like a sweater. But you can see it's opened up to the chest. Some skin is showing up top. She's got a pink undershirt on there. Some strings that are, are above go over to the shoulders, I assume. Uh, around the waist, it comes down to her legs. You can see kind of frailly on the end. There is skin, and then you have uh, white. Or there's a... Uh, the shoes actually look really weird. So it's actually not skin color. It's, uh, it's pink. It's a really bright pink. It's kind of hard to tell with the camera. 
uh, maybe the side view shows. It's really bright pink through this whole thing, and then you got black for the shoes. But they even did side printing on the legs, which are really nice. Nothing on the body or arms. And then to the back, so these are dual molded legs, by the way, but you have the back of the um, blouse or sweater, and then the design that was across the front comes to the back, and then again the back printing on the legs with the dual molding, I believe. So a lot of um, a lot went into this minifig because there's a lot to do with it with the dual molded legs, printing both sides on the sides as well. Looks great. And then for her accessory, she comes with a black wand, and she comes with a loaf of bread, I believe is what they... Yep, a loaf of bread is what they described it as. So a loaf of bread, that's a new design as well. Looks pretty cool. It's got some detailing on it, which is nice. Get her lined up. And then again, she comes with um, black wands, which I haven't seen yet in this series. Get her lined up. Got a few more. Hopefully these are not all duplicates, and we can just get this video done. Ah, oh, this one I already have. This is Voldemort. Now you can see him. He's right. Uh, he's over there. The snake's off to the side, but he's right here. He comes with the snake. Get some more opened up. Uh, this one. This one is. I already have this one. This is Malfoy in his Quidditch outfit, and he's right there. This is not good. Too many dupes this one. Only four out of how many I had so far. Please be a new one. Oh, yes! Yes, it is a new one. It's Dobby. I got Dobby. Awesome. This one is completely different from the old series ones. He's got a big head. Uh, legs are not bendable for him, even though they're the little ones. And his head is rubbery. I'll show that really quick. His head is rubbery. Ears are bendable. Nose is bendable. But we got him. We got the famous Dobby. Again, you can see the um, whole head design is completely different from the older series. Uh, probably took some concept art from the old uh, torso, but this one looks uh, much better. Uh, printing on the rubber head is really good, or silicone. It's more rubber. You can see it bend right there. But uh, he's got some big eyes. He's got a happy... Uh, look on his face, that is because he does have his sock, which is nice. Uh, coming down to his chest and torso, you can see it's tied off right here. He's kind of got like his toga gown on. A lot of uh, it's wrinkles in it. It's really dirty. You can see some of his skin showing at his chest. The legs are uh, dual tone, so you got the um, upper part is the tan color matching the outfit, and then his feet are showing. No printing on the sides besides the legs. And then to the back of the minifig, you have the back design. Again, it would be tied off on the shoulder. A lot of stains and wrinkles. And then the dual colors for the legs. And then for him, he comes with one of the new books that they've been making. So here's the book. It focuses. Nice printing on it. Got the gold uh, clasps on the corners. And then you can open the books, and they have two studs inside. And that is where Dobby's sock goes. There we go, we got the sock in the book, and then on this edge right here, if it focuses on the book, you can see the minifig can hold it. So much different from the old Lego books, that is for sure. So we'll have him grab his book, and you can see he's holding it, can rotate it, can open the book, looks great, and we got Dobby. So that's five new ones. Got three more left. Let's hope there are three different minifigs. Ah, another Voldemort. Got two more left. Got to be careful cutting these because some characters do have capes. Another Neville in the plant class. Oh, not good. Too many duplicates. And lastly, hope it's a new one. And it's not, but it's okay. I only have two of her now. This is uh, it's the Queenie Goldstein again. You can see her. So, a lot of duplicates, got five new minifigs, uh, let me whip out the sheet really quick. So, for the Fantastic Beast characters, I do have them all except this one right here, so I need him. And then for the regular uh, Harry Potter characters, I have all the top row. Uh, I have her, her, I have this all second row. Uh, I have, I need these two. 
for the last, I need, so I need two more for the Harry Potter one. And I need one more for the Fantastic Beasts out of 22, and I believe that's correct. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, who am I missing? 20, oh, 21, I, who am I missing? Uh, I got him, he's in the back corner, I got her, I got, I got Newt, got those two this video so that's five I got him six seven eight nine I don't have her so I need her too and I forgot her name so the last minifigs I need are uh, Credence Bait, Bait Bone um, I need uh, Luna that's Luna of course need her I need uh, Trelawney which is one of the professors which is her right there and then I need where is he? I forgot his name, but I know who he is. Uh, Cedric Diggory. So I need four more minifigs out of the 22. Not too bad. Uh, I wish I didn't get as many duplicates as I got this video. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 duplicates out of the five that I got new. That's not that good. But there's going to be one more video then. Hopefully I get them all. Again, if you want to check out the other minifigs that I got in the previous video, you can click right up here. Our links will be down below. Be sure to leave a like if you haven't already liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.